Welcome back to the Cleaning Excel data series. This is where we change a table of information and just make it a little bit more presentable by using a couple of Excel tips and tricks. Today's lesson is number four, find and replace. Just quickly before we start, if you like what you see, please click the like button or subscribe to the channel and get updates and new tips and tricks from Excel. So let's get started with lesson four. In this lesson, we'll go to the table on the left and we'll use the find and replace function to really clean up the data. In column E, you can see that we have the branch name. This is a table of sales of motor vehicles and the branch where they were sold. Within that column, we have two selections, Northern and Southern branch. But as you can see, the Northern branch doesn't include branch as part of the heading. So to make this more uniform, we'll use the find and replace and, inc and update Northern to include branch. So very simply, we will highlight column E. We will select control F. And we have a couple of options. We'll go to replace. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the word Northern. And we're going to replace any time we find that word northern with northern branch. Go down to replace all. It says how many changes have been made. This time 589. Press OK. Press close. And now you can see any time there was northern branch in the cell, or northern in the cell, it's changed it to northern branch. Clicking the filter, you can see this has changed for the entire data set. Really handy tip, really handy trick. So I've found another complex example in column F where the color blue has been in, uh, spelt incorrectly in a number of cells. You can see down here. Now, if I simply go find and replace BLU with BLUE, it will change this from BLU to BLUE, but it will also change the BLU within that cell to BLUE, but it won't replace the E. So for example, I'll show you. Column F, we'll do Control F, and we'll replace BLU with BLUE. And as you'll see, that this BLU will change to BLUE, but it will also keep that E there. But this blue will change correctly. Replace all. It's made 64 replacements. Close, and it's changed to BLUE. So in this instance, we'll just undo what we've done. And we want to change only the cells that contain exactly BLU, not a cell that has BLUE, BLU somewhere within the cell. So again, we'll highlight the cells, use Control F, but this time there'll be some more options. And what we want to do is go to Replace, and now we have the options of matching the entire cell contents. So what that is saying is it has to say BLU and BLU only. So this time we'll replace BLU with BLUE, matching the entire cell contents and replace all, and this time there was only eight replacements done. Close it up, and now all the BLUs have now been updated to BLUE. A little bit complex, hopefully it made sense, and don't forget we have a whole bunch more tips and tricks on how to clean Excel, and I hope you join us for the next tutorial. Thank you.